Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, you, know, you know, like I was just zoning out there. It's like, do 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 do. I can see in your pajamas as well. So would you? Sorry, this is my fault because I the, the podcast was supposed to be at nine thirty this morning, and it's actually seven thirty p.m. because of it's been me. one of those days. Well, I had my shower, got into my pajamas, put the kids in bed, laid on my bed, and that's when I text you saying, "Can we do it now?" Because I thought I was going to go to sleep. Like I, I genuinely, <laughs> at the moment, right, I can't keep my eyes open past nine o'clock. <laughs> it, no, it's so. really mad. I bet you're literally yeah. like. Holding them mm. apart. Yeah. I, I actually considered doing the pod in bed tonight. <laughs> you should have done. Take a sip but of the But the only thing is, I would have needed like one of those tray table things to have a look Oh, like, yeah. Mic. I so thought, no, Billy, mic. don't be silly. Just go downstairs. No. Um, but anyway, how are you? I am full to the top here with stuff going on. Honestly, it's just all, everything's gone fast forward. So. Yeah, my day to day has been basically on Monday we start the uh works, the proper works in the house. So I know I've probably mentioned it a million times, but all the floors being ripped up, the kitchen's being ripped out currently. I've had to pack it all up today, so there's like nothing left downstairs in my house. You've had, we've actually had to pack like we're moving. Because what? they need that is so everything. Full on. I know they they needed they need everything what? clear to do the flooring. What? So yeah. even so, not just the kitchen. So because we're actually getting a new kitchen, we've had to empty every cupboard as well. Yeah, in the kitchen. of course. So and the utility room and the office oh, is getting new flooring. So the much dining stuff room, as well. The downstairs so, bathrooms rip, get, being ripped out. So the whole of downstairs is like just random at the moment. Today it all started today. So it well, does. that's exciting, though. At least, like, it started. I know it's stressful, yeah. but it is actually things are happening. It's very excited, but excited, exciting. But we, like today, I was almost thinking, "Oh gosh, we're going to be homeless. Where are we going to go?" Mum was like, "You can come to mine." But basically, we so the 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 works are going to take about a month, and obviously, we potentially might go away for a week of that in half term. But I have to come back because I've got an LA trip and a Paris trip with Revive College in. So it's oh, it's so full on. But we can't live here because it's going to be thick dust, no kitchen, yeah. no toilet. Like it's just going to be. You can't not. You can't, you can't not have. You can't live without yeah. a kitchen when you're a family. Exactly. It's not so practical. I actually. So I went on to Airbnb and I think I found a little cottage. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So I might we might be moving Is it into like, the cottage. Um, like a cottage from the holiday, the film The Holiday. Yeah, it, it really is. It's oh, t- that's like, actually a really nice experience. But it's really, it's really like local to the kids' school, so it's perfect. And also, that'll be really exciting for the kids, you know, like staying somewhere new for a few weeks. Well, when I picked up Rosie from school, the first thing I told her was about the little cottage we might move into, and she was like, no. And I was like, well, hold on a minute. I was like, I haven't even oh, showed you Oh, she doesn't you want it. to. But then when I showed her the pictures, I was like, it's going to be so fun. It's like really cosy. like, And it is. And I went to see it this afternoon. I just jumped in the car. because Oh, was it nice? I've been looking on Airbnb and there's been nothing. And the woman said, I can't believe it, because she actually released her little cottage today. So obviously no it was way. meant to be. Yeah. Fate. It's fate. Fate. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. And it's like, oh, just lovely, clean. It's all like quite rusticy but like she it's just really nice and I was like I could do this for a few weeks like this would be fine yeah it'll be a bit of a squish because it is really small but it'll be fine anyway so um yeah they're fine and also now. you can always like pop back home if you need to get stuff like that's it's the thing like you're abroad is it and also like there's a washing machine and tumble and I was like if we move to a hotel the washing is oh, going to be absolutely my. out of control imagine the ho- the bill like, yeah, and like room service every day. Like, yeah. it's just, it wasn't really practical. Look, if it would have had to been that, we would have had to do it, but it's just not practical. Not so, for, not for like four weeks. I don't know. It is. So, I think we're fine, but it's just all a lot. Like, I've got to go through the lighting plan tonight again when I'm off here. God, you know, I things... don't miss these nights, honestly. Mm-hmm. This is what I've done for about three years of my life. I bet. Me and Greg, when the kids went to bed, we would yeah. sit up, or I would sit up, and just be doing ho- house stuff till like sometimes eleven, half eleven at night. Well, it's this the only is time after this. you get, yeah, because it's like in the day, work, kids, everything else, and then the night time when they're in bed, that's when you have to commit to it. Oh my gosh, exactly. It's so many memories. So I'm gonna do that after this, just so I can get a few things ticked off. But no, it's fine, and I'm very positive about everything. But 
it's a lot. And also I had one man down today. So, oh, yeah, so the pride of Brit- Britain, guys, I had to leave. I was so poorly, wasn't I, Billy? So yeah. I basically got the stomach bug that, Billy, you had the week before. Yeah. I didn't actually get it from you because I hadn't even seen you at that point. No. I must have got it from the kids or something. One of I the think school. it's just something that's going around, isn't it, at the minute? Yeah. Um, and it definitely hit me hard. So I basically, guys, so... Sunday was the Pride of Britain. I don't know how I made it to the red carpet even because when I was getting ready, I, don't know how you did. I had like the excruciating shooting pains and literally was on the toilet about 10 times before I went to the Pride of Britain and like really bad stomach pains. Anyway, done the red carpet, sat down and I literally could not eat. I didn't even want to drink water. Basically, I was petrified of like having to run to the toilet because obviously there's just no control like with a stomach bug. You yeah. don't have... You don't, don't you can't even control know how it. you made it to the carpet. Like I don't know, but really, it's so what do, that virus is awful. Whatever it is, it's horrible. Richie Rife. So then I sat down, with, like I sat, with, was all on the same table, wasn't we? And I'd say I was fifteen minutes, and then I was like, I've actually got to go. Like I can't sit here, and all my body was like shivering, like all cold with like all goose goosebumps. Anyway, I went home, and all I wanted to do, I said she wasn't here, is I wanted to curl up in a ball in my pajamas oh, in yeah. bed. And That's I was in that black, tight dress. All my hair was tight. I was like, oh, I just want to get home. Anyway. Did you make, I didn't even ask you, did you make it home all right? Like, yeah, made it home. Stop? I didn't have to stop because I remember I didn't even, I didn't even sip the water because I was yeah, like paranoid anything. of anything yeah. disturbing. So I got home and then that was me. I had f- four days wipeout. It was really bad. I awful. literally was in bed in bits for four days. There was nothing I could do because you can't eat. When I looked at you, when you sat there, I remember looking at you and I said to you, you need to just go home, smoke for you, yeah. cannot sit through this. And you was like, yeah, do you know what? I can't do that. I like, can't, because it's a good three, four was, hours, right? I was it's, like, yeah, it's quite a long evening. And mm. obviously, you know, you're up and down a lot and, you know, you're watching the show. And also it's like an emotional roller coaster. You really need to be like, yeah, focused, you know, 100%. But yeah. So anyway, I left before the show started, which was probably ideal. Oh, what happened to our seats? Did you get a couple of seat fillers? Did anyone join you? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, it's really funny. So uh, actually, we had um, we had one of the uh, winners on our table. Memph, you didn't get to oh, meet her. The most no, loveliest little girl called Freya. And I was just oh. chatting to them basically most of the night. Yeah, they were so lovely and... Um, actually, her dog come with her as well. And she went oh. up on the stage to collect her prize. It was so cute. But um, oh. so so we had the two spare seats. <clears throat> so I said to someone, I was like, "Oh, can you take these seats away? Take these seats away." And um, I was like, "Anyway, I was like, just take them away. We can all move around anyway." So I'm like, and then it, it wasn't happening. Like, and then there was right. all like this kerfuffle, and then like the show was about to start, and it was all like this big. Anyway, this guy, I didn't, I wasn't even looking. This guy runs over with like a seat and sits sort of like in between me and Greg. And I went, no, no, no. I said, we, we don't want them. We want them to, we want them to go away. We, so we don't want the seats. It's only one of the guys from Love Island, right? He looked at me and I was like, he was like, oh no, I've been told to sit here. Sorry. And I went, oh, oh but you know, when you're so embarrassed, yeah. you literally yeah, want. Was like a, did you think yeah. he was like. But, like a runner or something. Yeah, <laughs> I, but I, I weren't concentrating. Like, I was literally just like... You basically made him feel anyway, uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm joking. <laughs> no, I know. And the thing is as well, Pride of Britain, like, it's not really the type of event you can, you sit and chat through. Like, is no, it like you, you don't... Because it, you're watching the, you know, the ceremony, the awards and... um. But yeah, no, it was, it was a lovely evening, like amazing, like... You know, it's so it's so like heartwarming, isn't it? That night, yeah. like, and like, you know, it's yeah, it's such a celebrating such a lovely the heroes, celebrating, in yeah. Um, but we, as soon as the um awards were over, we actually left. We went we went home because we was really tired. And actually, talking of toilet situations, so the dress that I wore, I actually mm. couldn't go to the toilet in it. Yeah, you look, that dress was tight. Like when I sat next to you, you was like, look, you couldn't even move in it. No, it was corseted, right? So it was like, I was like, wow, God, how did the ladies wear these back in the day? Like 24-7. But the corset bones weren't just like on the top part. It run from kind of like the top sort of down to like, to past your hips, right? Right. 
So the only way of going to the toilet, so basically I couldn't, and then the dress was like fitted. Oh, anyway, I couldn't go to the toilet in the dress. So I was also on edge about like drinking too much, like, because I couldn't, I couldn't go to the toilet at all in that dress. So I, I, as soon as it was over, I said to Greg, we've got to go. I need to go to the toilet. We need to get home. So we left when, and um, yeah, we just, we had an early night. We, I think we was in bed by half 10. Mamph, do you ever find it hard to get the kids to do educational activities when all they want to do is play? Oh, I know what you mean. I actually think Paul and Rosie learn better when they're enjoying themselves while they're learning. Does that make sense? Yeah, completely. Like, for example, last night, Nellie and Arthur, they was out in the garden for ages playing, but they was playing this horsey game. I was watching them out the window, like, jumping over things, but I was thinking, <laughs> come on now, we need to get in, bedtime, do your reading, like, you know, especially now Arthur's in year two, everything steps up, like, it has to do a certain amount of reading per week. Something I found that works really well for us is the Tony Box by our podcast sponsor, Tony's. As our listeners probably know by now, the Tony Box is a musical story box that helps children develop their speech through songs and stories. You know how much Rosie loves Matilda? Well, she's learned so many new words from just listening to the Matilda story on her Tony box. She's like your own little Matilda. <laughs> she is. So cute. Tony's have got loads of other classic stories too, like the Enchanted Wood, Paddington and the Gruffalo. So there's something for all kids of all ages. My kids absolutely love Paddington as well. It's their favourite. So do mine. Mine absolutely love it. And as a special treat for our listeners, you can get 10% off Tony Boxes and Tony Box Bundles with the code Sam and Billy 10 That's 10% off on Tony Boxes and Tony Box Bundles when you visit www.tonies.com and use the code Sam and Billy 10 We went to see Madonna last night. That oh, was good. That's right. What? I'm not, are you a fan of Madonna? <laughs> not really, no. No, I'm but, not. So how was it? Did she play her old stuff or was it all Well, like some of it strange. She some some of I mean, don't get me wrong, the you know, like the performance, the the show, it was amazing, like yeah. the production, like it was so much to look at. Actually there was a really amazing moment where her one of her daughters oh, played the piano. Online. Yeah. She was singing, I saw that. which I thought that was incredible, like so talented. And then there was another um, another one of her daughters come out and done like a dance with her. Oh, wow, that's cool. It was re yeah, it was really good. It was really, really fun night. She played some of her old stuff, but not all of it. Um, but yeah, that was good. So how, did, you, did you have a drink or you, did you? Yeah, I had a few, but the thing is I had so much to do today. So I, I was... was monitoring yourself yeah i you know like when you go and you're not in the real party frame of mind because you know you've got stuff to do that was Isn't me it's strange night. that when you get to this age like and you have children and so much so many things to do each day that you just like when you're younger you don't care do you you're like any day of the week Carefully. even when you go to work you don't care but it's just so different no. when you have children it's when you've got ch kids children you're like yeah. you just like you know you know for a fact like, if you go out and get drunk, you're going to pay for it. Mm. Oh, actually, I had, well, you couldn't make it, but I had my um, my launch event for my women's wear collection oh, for George yes. at Asda. That was a girl, that, big girls one, wasn't it? That was amazing. We had such a brilliant night. So we had the the event. Yeah. Which was really really good. lovely. It Looked was so lovely. Good. It was really, like... Just really fun. It wasn't a huge event. Like, there was quite a lot of influences I that was come. thinking about that event. And so, you know, you had the personalised cocktails and it has, like, yeah. your name on. What, like, excuse me, what is that? Because I feel like you need that in your bar. Is it like a spray? It, no, it's um, sugar paper. Right, so you, you need to order some sugar papers. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. And maybe just have, maybe just have, like, I don't know. Chips. I know you've got your... Yeah, just you should have Chips a sugar bar. paper for when we do our margarita Monday. Yeah, oh, that's a good. I'm gonna look into that. That's a good idea. Just have them because right when notes. I saw that, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, you actually need that in your bar, like just to that is, when yeah. people come around for a drink. Yeah, yeah, plop one in. Yeah, um, yeah, that was a really good night, and actually, um, we went out after, went out for a few drinks after us girls. Um, what time did you get because, home? Well, the event finished at nine. Um, 
Oh, I don't. We didn't. We we Three. we left. Well, near enough. Yeah, we left London at one. Ooh. Took us nearly two hours to get home. So yeah. I re- the the next day, I'm not gonna lie. I was suffering. Like I had my Ooh. head. You know, like. Like I just yeah, and I was so tired. Then I was up at six with the kids. By the time I took my makeup off, oh. got into bed, <laughs> like two and a, like basically three hours sleep. I was like, oh, I was like a zombie oh on Friday. Gosh. On that Do you Friday, know when it gets but, to like three o'clock and your eyes are burning out your head and you're like burning. Why have I done oh this? my god, that's witchy hour. And then you got to do yeah. Your, yeah. So that was that was um. I mean, it was a brilliant you know brilliant event. Um, but yeah, on the Friday, I did have a sore head. Yeah. Um, and obviously, guys, the reason why I didn't go is because I basically had just made it from the bed to the sofa. I That was my first mm. day where I actually got felt a tiny bit better and I had, had something to eat. And I just know that I couldn't have made it. Like, I was still really fragile and vulnerable. <laughs> you know, when you're so vulnerable. Yeah, no, I, no honestly, I, I, because I, well, I obviously had the same illness as you and I know how yeah. much it takes it out Wipes. of you. It's awful. Um, but also as well, your and Paul's anniversary. Nine years on the 15th of October. Um, we didn't do anything. Paul, he went up to, he went up north the night before because he went oh, to, to the boxing he went to watch the Tommy Fury flight. Tommy Fury fight, yeah. But he did come back first thing, so he left. Where was it? Manchester, I don't know. He left at like eight a.m. or something. So he was home pr- pretty early. But I mean, we didn't do anything. He got me some nice flowers and wrote in a card. Because so you know the new hotel in town, the Peninsula. Oh the yeah, high park. Amazing. So he just said. When we get a chance in November, yeah, let's do a night and we'll celebrate it then. So, it, it we couldn't do anything this week anyway. It's just been you know packing up the house and all that kind of stuff. So, we didn't do anything, but we will celebrate next month. I hope just the two of us. Yeah. So that would be nice. And I got some nice flowers, but I didn't get him anything. I didn't even write a card. Usually I'm really good, but I was just well, I wasn't well. I, well, he wasn't. I didn't yeah. care. Like, I know it sounds no. really. But I just I couldn't think of anything else apart from getting better. But anyway, better, yeah. nine years. It's gone quick. Nine Can't years believe well. it. That is, yeah. It's gone really quick. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. It's funny because when it got to like, I think it was about 11 o'clock, we had a little hug and he was like, I think we probably met about this time. You was there. Oh, no, you didn't. I wasn't. Home. You wasn't. Remember, was I, I, I wasn't there. I wasn't there the first night you met Paul. But obviously, like, after that. I did. I yeah, Laurie. I wasn't there. There's the quite a few night. of us. Yeah, I remember. Anyway, so it was uh, Shish in Essex. Shish, <laughs> and we old, met, of course, about Where eleven else? o'clock at night. Where else? And it was when that it was when that um, Shish Rock, Wednesday, Rock Wednesday, Rock Wednesday. Was. Remember that? That was so. And good. it was that was the very first Rock Wednesday, and we showed us girls went really late because we'd been somewhere else. Uh, we wasn't actually going to go because the night night was sort of dragging on a bit. And then we went, and then that's when I met Paul. But isn't it so mad, right? It's like that film Sliding Doors, isn't it? Like mm. your fate and like how like things happen in life and like like how different. Imagine if you didn't so go true. there that because night. Because also, the day before I'd got home from LA, so I was super jet lagged. And the girls yeah. were like, come on, we've got to, come on, we'll go. And I was like, I can't. And then they was like, come on, get through the jet lag, otherwise you're going to make it worse. And I thought, that's a point, if I stay up tonight... I was like, I can get back into the time zone. But I literally time dragged zone, myself yeah. out. And that was the night I met Paul. That is, it was meant to be. Meant to be. Five, six months later, I fell pregnant. That was a bit of a, that was a whirlwind. That was a whirlwind. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't change yeah. it for the world. No. But yeah, so nine years. I'm trying to think what else has been going on this week. Let's have a quick look on the camera roll. Did you buy the ear Wait. camera? Yes, bought the ear camera, but I haven't for used you- it yet. What? Oh, I'm going so to get that out of the box tomorrow, actually. So with our kitchen, right, obviously we've got to rip it all out. It's funny because we was like, someone could have this. Like, it's actually in really good condition and all the appliances yeah. work. But I'm, like, frightened to put it on Instagram and then, like, random people showing up to pick it up. So I was like, what should we do? So Paul reached out to a few friends that, like, in the building trade said, look, don't want nothing for it, but it seems such a shame to th- throw yeah, this away. Yeah, of course. Anyway, someone was like, yep. Yeah, uh, really want it I'll come and get it because obviously it saves us a job as well because they'll take it out like it's yeah. their job to take it out right anyway they they pulled out today because it was too big and it wasn't whatever anyway so 
Earlier on before I got on the podcast, Paul's got the drew out. And bearing in mind, he's been in bed ill all day. I was like, what are you doing? He was like, we need to get this kitchen out. But he's like trying to, because we've got to get, <laughs> we've got to rip it out. No. But it's, but yeah, I've only got what? two days to do it. So I've been ringing around some like people that I know to see if we can get anyone to come and help tomorrow. It's just oh, a drama. Can't you get um, the kitchen guys to remove it when they install? No, because the flooring's going down on Monday. Starts Monday. Oh, the flooring they needs need to the be kitchen. down. Oh. Because the new kitchen's a slightly different layout. So it's a v- it's very dramatic what's going on. But I said, look, <sighs> worst ways, I've you, asked a few. Do you want me to send Greg round? I got him a toolbox last mm-hmm. Christmas. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> do you oh, know, actually, fun. we've lived in this house officially a year on Saturday just gone. No way. One year. Well, from the first night you slept in the house? Yeah. Sorry, Can't. do you stop picking your pen? It's really loud Sorry. on me. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I can't believe you've been there. <laughs> I can't believe you've been there a year. So I like your rower in the background and I also like your montage oh, of images you of yourself. I can see your OK covers. Sorry, what? I'm like, no, this office is really messy. It's like a bomb's gone off in here. It was and really tiny. Your rail of George. Yep. Yeah, but can, yeah, but then there's a few. It's really messy because I'd done a little um, like a little shoot thing in here yesterday. And I've literally like just thrown stuff everywhere. I need to have a little tidy up. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got all my covers in the background. Not all of them, but I've got yeah, some, the best ones. Some some of them that I've done across the years, like just like the special ones, like the wedding, like with the kids, pregnancy yeah. ones. It's a fabulous. bit blurred, but you can see it looks really nice. Yeah, um, it's lovely. Um, what um, so what else are you doing the rest of this week? What are you doing? Oh, when do your kids break up? Uh, Friday. Are you oh, always yeah, so on half term? Oh, no, no they break up Friday. They've got two weeks off. Break up Friday. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. See, mine only get a week. Yeah, mine get two, which is just like oh, same old thing. Really, I wish they had one this time round because yeah, oh, you've got, got loads stuff going, on. going on. But um, I'm trying to wean Edward off the booby as well, and that's really Oh, difficult. I see that. He's just not having any of it. So what and do you I, mean? But is there any milk left in there? There is hardly anything, because only because I can feel them, right? They're like, I told you before, they're, they're, they're just empty. But he does get something, and I think it's just a few droplets for a bit of comfort. It's just like, it gets on his... I don't like, think it's... The, it's I don't like think it's dummy. even the milk, is it? It's like... It's, it's just me. It's yeah. the boob, the like. It's just it's it's the comfort. You're a human dummy, and you know what? In the mornings, because he keeps waking up at five a.m., it's so easy just to lay there and think, right, okay, have your yeah. little booby time. Because if I don't, he he's like ah, and he's pointing at the door. He wants up and out five a.m. Oh yeah, I'm it's like too early, I'm darling. It's too that. early. Yeah, Margot sometimes wakes up before six, like half five, quarter to six. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like. I look at Greg. Like, it's too early. <laughs> like, six, and because it's dark, and because it's dark now as well, it does feel like the middle of the night. Oh, doesn't it? It's yeah. Mm. Even like now, when we come down in the morning, it's pitch black still outside. I tell you what, I have watched, which is brilliant. What? The Beckham documentary. Oh, I've have you watched, watched a bit it? Of it? No, I, I watched the first quarter oh, when I was poorly, so good. and then I thought I can't get into this because I'm not feeling it because because I'm not well. You're not, it, so I, I couldn't. Oh, it's get into so it. good. Do you know what? As well, like obviously when we when like when he first shot to fame when he was like huge, we was quite young, so we obviously knew David Beckham, we but we so didn't young. know the whole. Like, yeah, I can't believe how awful like the fans. And the media, like what they like done to him when he got the red card, like on the on the pitch. Yeah, he really. He's like him, mad, man. like crazy, like how and much also, it affects him. But Victoria's really good in it. Good, sorry, Victoria's really good in it as well. Like, yeah, she's, she's just yeah. You know what else has just come out? Um, Colleen and Wayne. Oh, I've seen that. But is it out yet? I think it might be. I'm, I actually want to watch that as well. But I didn't really oh, follow yeah. that whole Wagatha drama. I didn't actually get myself... I didn't really get into it, but I do. I am interested to watch the documentary. Oh, yeah. It was so big in the press, wasn't it? It was huge, yeah. I didn't, I, really, um, didn't do the ins and outs. If you're going to show your face on the screen, Princess, I don't think you should be picking your nose. <laughs> oh, look. What have you got? 
Look at you. Has she got on. the PJs? Are they the Christmas ones? Yeah, Christmas. Yay! They look cute. The Christmas PJs launched this Friday, and I've all, I'm all, I'm getting so many messages all the time about them. Like not just DMs, like from friends, family, just, saying like they just are because everyone lovely. wants in. <laughs> Well, we we've actually we've got our Tesco's Christmas dramas coming out this this month as well. Oh, make sure you send us some as well. We'll then. send you some, yeah. Just quickly, you know why I think I don't know because I haven't watched it yet. But Big Brother, I've not watched one episode. But Mum, Mum's been dipping in and out of it, and Mum's not impressed. Sometimes I feel like because the concept was so like it, it's the same. It was so like it's a bit dated now. Maybe you know like. The tasks and the things and the I don't know like maybe that's the reason I, I don't know why mum's not. You know it, what I mean? Things I have, have shifted. Yeah, true. I know what you mean like reality TV. Like that was like the first Just, big thing like in seeing people. But I am. Um, I obviously haven't watched any of it yet. Which I'm. I don't know what I just don't really watch TV. I'm as not much gonna. Anymore, but, but um, I think sometimes like these sort of like it could be impacted by you know like social media now is so big. You know, yeah. like years ago, it, people were more ruthless. They didn't care. People didn't care. could be not as censored. Like people might self-edit a lot more now because everyone's even, worried like about. Even, totally. And I feel like even the year I went in, I think it was one of the last, one of the last ones, but it was right towards the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Even then, I feel like I was lucky, not I was really poorly, I was hardly on it, but I was lucky into a sense that it was still massive on TV at the time, like it was still really yeah. widely was watched huge. across the country, wasn't it? Because people were still really enjoying it at that point. Like you were saying, people didn't have any filters. It wasn't really about like people's social presence then. It was just more about going in and trying to make a name for themselves, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, who could be the most outrageous? <laughs> exactly. Like it was almost op- op- opposite <laughs> Sorry, to what it, it is now. opposite, yeah. But now I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm just... Like I say, I haven't seen it, so I can't actually really have too much of an opinion. I, w- but I wonder if they'll do a celebrity one like they, they used to. I, I think they are. They are doing one oh, next okay. year. Well, that's good. Maybe we should put my mum up for it then. Oh, yes. Let's do it. it. Definitely. It you know, mum really wants to... Mum said um, to me before she'd love to go into the Big Brother house. I think Greg would be really good at it. He would. Greg. Oh, Greg would love to. Greg would be there... I can see Greg all over this gig next year. Oh, he would love to go in Big Brother House. He really would, wouldn't he? He would be in his element because Greg's such a... He's like a people's person, isn't he? He talks to everyone. Mm. like he. And also, he would love all those silly challenges and tasks. He'd get right involved. Because there's a lot of pranking in there. There's a lot of... Well, I don't know if it's the same concept, but there's always something silly, you know, like... He yeah he would love to go in but yeah okay well we'll put Mum and Greg up for it next year go head to head and see who gets the slot gets gets who gets, gets yeah the, gets, <laughs> or or if they if they imagine they both both went in <laughs> that would be funny that would be brilliant um, are you watching Strictly this year uh, I've watched a couple of bits of it actually I've nearly quite enjoys it yeah I've watched a yeah, few yeah it's, it. it's I do you know what never in all the years reality TV's been. I ne- like I never it was never one I watched religiously but actually this year it keeps popping up and I keep putting it on and I'm not watching it from start to finish but I quite enjoy a bit of Strictly you know it's, it's quite like a bit of light yeah. entertainment isn't it it is it is it's, it's brilliant and again isn't it it's like so much to see like all of the like outfits yeah the dancing it's the training good. Um, right okay so we've got a dilemma I'll read it because you're you read yeah my eyes, my eyes. I've got a dilemma I'm from a big close family and whenever we get together, we're all very loud and like to wind each other up. It never gets nasty and at the end of the day, we're just having a laugh. However, it's making my new boyfriend really uncomfortable. He says he doesn't like hanging out with my family because he doesn't like them teasing him. My family Uh are everything to me. Should I bin my boyfriend off now or do you think we'll toughen him up eventually? I think it's a bit harsh just to bin him. (laughs) But I don't know. It's it's a hard one, isn't it? Because personality. Some people might. He just might feel a little bit um, intimidated. Oh, yeah, and Billy's right. But I don't he, think but then bin I him like... straight away because obviously, no matter what happens in life, you, like I always find that you, you know, you bring in two families together. You're not always going to be 
like exactly cool. the same. You're not always going to have the same interests or sense of humour. But that's kind of part of the relationship. You sort of grow and then you get to know people and then you change slightly. Like it's just a part of mm. it really, isn't it? But maybe also, you need to tell him to chill out a bit and just yeah, like loosen up. lighten up. Lighten up and then maybe tell your family just to ease in a bit more. Maybe don't tease him so much rather just teasing the others. Depends on what they're yeah. doing. I'd like to have an example of what they're doing yeah. to him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like what kind of level of teasing is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Dear. Well, good luck with that. But I just think, yeah, maybe don't ditch him. Just try and, just just try and work it out. Yeah. Come to it. Come to happy medium with the family. Yeah, I think I think you will toughen him up eventually. So don't worry. Right. Yeah. Okay. So ask us anything. Um, right. Was it love at first sight when you both met your other halves? <laughs> you know what? Me and Paul discussed this the other day, and I was I actually was very attracted to Paul when I first saw him. Like he was across the dance floor. And it's really funny because I always say it to him. And he's always like, really? I was like, yeah. Like, I just <laughs> spotted him. I just spotted him out. And I was like, well, he's he seems like a bit of me. And I just I, went for gold. <laughs> I think, um, I think I suppose with Greg as well. Yeah, like, I definitely, like, fancied him. Yeah. It's like, but, I don't know if you call it love, but it's like... It's but it's a like, bit different for me with Greg because I, obviously, Paul, that was the first time you see him. I knew Greg before you knew Greg, we got yeah. to get, so it's like, it, that. It's like in that way, it wasn't like, like, you know, it wasn't the first time I see him, I fell in love with him because I knew him for <laughs> quite a while before we actually got together. So yeah, I, I guess it was a, a little bit for me in a sense. Well, I don't know if it was love, I'd say maybe like lust. 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 Um, so next question, what do you miss most about your teenage years without kids? Oh, probably the sleep. <laughs> oh, that's what I, do you know what? And this, I, sorry, excuse me. I just need to go and wipe a butt. <laughs> do your kids like delegate, like you, only you can do certain things for them? Like they um, wouldn't let, like mine, mine, like there's certain things that only I can do. Like Greg, they're like, no, 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 daddy can't do it. But it's like really simple things, but I have to do it. Yeah. And it, yeah. 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 They, most of the time they want me all the time. Yeah, so for all things, I'm like, can you get but daddy to actually, do it? Actually, when Paul was in Dubai, when Paul was in Dubai for the that week for work, towards the end, they all wanted Paul, and I was like, oh, yeah, really? Well, he'll be home. You can have him. He'll be home yeah. soon. Yeah, it's because it it's like we've had enough of you now. <laughs> yeah, because it was like the the because I had to be stern a lot because it was like all three of them trying to yeah. get by each day and in the end they were probably thinking gosh she's she's not the usual the, uh, the happy where's soft. my mum yeah <laughs> but yeah no yeah I yeah they sorry back to the question what do you miss most oh yeah, oh, yeah sleep yeah you know like being able to have a lay in like yeah. I said to Greg the other day imagine how amazing it'd be to have a lay in in your own bed because mm. when you like if you stay in a hotel or whatever you I, I feel like you never lay in do you you know, like just to be able to wake up in your own bed and like yeah. have like tea and biscuit and just like watch, you know, like on a Sunday morning. Oh, I often think that with heaven. Paul, like when I come and stay at yours, like he actually gets like two lay-ins in his own bed without any kids in the house. I know. Like that he would never very, take the kids and then go and stay at Tony's and then like I'm laying in my bed in the morning on a Saturday on my own. It just would never happen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just it's actually it's actually really funny because we know that's not gonna happen. It's Same not gonna with me. Happen. When it happens it's just to bizarre. Like imagine being in your own house on your own. It would yeah. be quite weird to be fair. It would be weird, but I, I wouldn't it's not it's not even that I want to wake up on my own in the house. I would just love to have a lay in. <laughs> no, like just open your eyes when you're ready. Yeah, like oh, no, no, time? no, nine, nine o'clock. Yeah, like you actually open your eyes for the first time when you your body's ready to wake up. Yeah, <laughs> so true. It's funny. It's like a joke. Like it's just like, <laughs> and really, it's just so normal to people. Like, yeah, can't wait for that day to come. <laughs> right. Okay. So, yeah. um, next question. What's the best holiday you've ever been on together? Oh, we've had a few. We have had a few. I think some of our pre-kids Dubai trips were really fun. Uh, yeah, we've had some great. And then with kids, we've had some lovely holidays as well. It's tough because I just, I love any holidays we all have together. We just Yeah, great same. Like fam- 
I suppose as well one for me would probably be like well the wedding holiday that was yeah. that was amazing like of everyone there yes, but then I then I great. think of like the hen do like the hen do was brilliant the hen was fantastic and also like even our little um city breaks to like Paris we've had some fun yeah. times yeah really yeah. fun times Really good. We need to book enough. We need to book something for next year. So we've got something to look forward to. We actually really need to do that. I'd like. We should just do Paris again. It's so fun. Like quick. Can I come? <laughs> Rosie, when can yeah. I come? Can I come? <laughs> well, we actually need to plan your birthday because you want to say like, yes. hotel, don't you? With Auntie and Nelly and Nanny. And Mummy. Yeah, well, Mummy. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, what's the worst present you've ever given anybody? Well, I I sort Give of done a bit of a joke present to Greg for his birthday this year because. Can you remember the Amsterdam trip yeah. scenario when he yeah. was going to go basically book to Amsterdam without telling me? Yeah, for his birthday, like to go with all, all the all the lads. And um, anyway, um, I he didn't end up going in the end. And oh. Oh. no, yeah, he oh, well he did. He, no, sorry, he didn't end up going did. on his actual birthday. He went the weekend after. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, so on his actual birthday, I I bought a pair of um clogs. You know, like wooden clogs. <laughs> yeah. And I wrapped them up and gave them to him. That's funny. What did he do when he opened them? Was he like, huh? He was like, huh, huh. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> That's funny. Like your sense of humour. Did mum yeah. always used to mum always used to wrap some silly up in a shoebox, didn't she? Yeah. She used to did always you? wrap like a Nike shoebox and you'd think you'd got a pair of trainers and it'd be like a salt and pepper shaker or something. Yeah, something random. I might do yeah, that to mum. mine this year, actually. Yeah, yeah, no book Mum thought she was a bit of a prankster, wasn't she? She was younger. She used to do yeah. some things like that to us. i never forget the year when I really wanted a dog. We actually lived in Brentwood in the bungalow. Do you remember? I always wanted a dog <laughs> when I was younger. And I remember that, that it was my birthday and you was really teasing me. And you kept going, woof, woof. Like you was <laughs> pretending to me that mum got you and mum have got me a dog for my birthday. <laughs> And there was an there was a sense like an inch of me that I actually got a little bit excited thinking thinking yeah if it was I gonna... actually got a puppy yeah and the whole time you was just winding me up and I actually got a hamster <laughs> Dave and the it, hamster and, it, and then it, then Dave the hamster was part of the family and I loved him that hamster used to get everywhere can you remember like you remember we used to how find many times him we lost him lost him in the house like it'd be in the back of the piano, like the piano. In, in like the back around the back of the tumble dryer or... do you know dave lived for nearly two years like that is unheard of what for a hamster yes are you sure about that <laughs> So. They have a really short life expectancy. <laughs> Let me write in. I don't remember what happened to Dave. Why did he, he die? Blew up. Aha! See? Hamsters usually live up to two years. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're laughing why, why, why such a short life expectancy? Why? Well, they're so tiny. I guess there's not really much to live for. That's really sad. Well, I remember <laughs> mum said that he'd run away, but mum said that. When he died in the cage, he blew up. Like, I don't know what happened. What? Mom, so he blew up into like this ball. Yeah, and he was like laying on his back, basically dead in the cage. Oh, but mum was really <laughs> freaked out. Mommy, yeah, mum told me mommy, that he he'd run it. away, so it wasn't so sad. Like yeah, oh. Yeah, I remember the, that clear ball that he used to rattle around the yeah, house. Yeah, remember, remember around the house, he used to go around, get around the house in the clear in that. Ball, and then sometimes when he'd smash it against the wall, the door would come off, and that's how he would escape. And yeah, I'd spend hours after school. He had a he had a technique. He did, yeah. Dave the hamster, and then actually Dave the hamster was, was replaced with um, the rabbit Dave. All my pets were called Dave, Dave basically, rabbit. because when Dad was in prison, it must have been like my comfort. Yeah, we <laughs> name all cool. my pets Dave. <laughs> Dave the rabbit, Dave the hamster. <laughs> and then I wanted Dave the dog, didn't I? But it didn't happen. Dave the dog. Dave's quite a good name for a dog, actually. Hey, Dave the dog. It Come is, Dave. actually. <laughs> oh, Dave. David. Um, I think that's all we have time for today, because this one is yeah. still awake and we've got school in the morning. And I am literally... Falling asleep at the chair. Falling asleep at yes. the chair, yeah. Right, well, good night. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, you night can listen ad free on Amazon. I just said good night. Love you. Okay. Love you. Love Mwah. you. Bye.